Aħbal programmi ħor ċil ilu minn tervista differenti minn tassol tu infatti jieta unek fil-Pole Fitness Malta Studio fej sen jitkelmu dwar il-Pole Dancing. Marisa, when did you start Pole Fitness Malta? Uh, I started, I began teaching uh, okay. last November mm-hmm. and it all started, it wasn't my intention to start teaching pole How dancing at all. Some friends urged me, um, they told me I should start teaching this because no one in Malta was really doing it and I wasn't sure, like, um, I wasn't sure about it because I didn't know how to do in Malta, okay. um, you know. I didn't think I didn't want people to confuse pole dancing with stripping, which it totally isn't. And uh, but I, I had a trial class, and some people came over, and they really enjoyed it. And they even said, uh, "Can you continue doing classes?" And then I started doing that, and it all started with one pole in my living room, which I just okay. used to practice as a hobby. Mm-hmm. And it just grew from there. Um, yeah, the the girls kept coming and word of mouth, and and now yeah, now I'm teaching almost every day. So, so it's kind of a fitness uh, class yes. that you can do instead of doing step oh, uh, yes, or aerobics absolutely. or something as in the pole. It's a lot more fun than yeah. step or aerobics as well. <laughs> um, is it more difficult? Is it a difficult? Is it, like, it is. It is difficult. I mean, it does require a sufficient amount of strength. Okay. and precision and flexibility but it doesn't matter you don't need to be an athlete to start you can start at any fitness level and you'll progress from there mm-hmm. um, like I've had people starting from absolute zero so fitness. you have people who are beginners absolute yeah beginners and now and they're going upside down and doing tricks okay. like okay. Cirque du Soleil so it's really it's great Brilliant. for everyone uh, can everyone practice uh, pole dancing is it like size age no, everyone can do it. Everyone. everyone it, it. When I was taking classes in Toronto, I had a 60-something-year-old woman doing spins next to me. Okay. And on the other pole, there was a much larger lady doing splits in okay. the air. Okay. So it's it's really for everyone. So you trained in Canada for some time? Yeah, that's where I discovered it. And, okay. and I fell in love. <laughs> so. Good, and you do it every day now? Yeah. And uh, pole dancing, uh, not only in Malta, but all over the world is uh, automatically uh, related to stripping. Well, so, no, okay. Yeah, like there are some negative connotations yeah. with it. But no, there haven't there haven't really been. Okay. Everyone that comes they've come with good intentions and they wanted to try it out and they were just genuinely curious about it and um, it's good cuz now they have a sort of um, healthy habit to stay okay. coming and uh, they really enjoy it and there's nothing wrong with it and mm-hmm. Yeah, and they realize it has nothing to do with stripping. Does it bother you though? <laughs> Does it bother you that the people think that? If some like people the general think that. public think that and when they see pole, automatically they think of stripping. Does it bother you? Or Well, I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with either. Mm-hmm. I, have, I have no yeah. judgment, but sure. I mean, they are two different things. Um, in fact, pole dancing started, I mean, it dates back to maybe 800 years ago okay. with Indian pole, mm-hmm. where um, they used to use it, uh, they used to, it was intended for wrestlers okay. to become stronger. They used to do pole training mm-hmm. um, with uh, very specific climbing techniques to make them stronger for wrestling. So it's completely uh, not, connected not connected to yeah. you know, what Western society perceives it as. It's, they're two different things. What kind of students do you have? Maltese, foreign, uh, a total old, mix. young? A male, total, female? All mixed. Uh, yeah. I, ha- I don't have any males yet. Okay. I'm completely open to the idea. So they can? They can. They're more than welcome all to right, come try okay. it out. Yeah. So, and then I'll show you a few things later as well. <laughs> That's so, going to be interesting. Yeah. Right? This is not my first time to do okay. the kind of exercise. But anyone can do it, you said, you know? Yeah, There's exactly. no age and... Um, do you have any Maltese, more Maltese people that... Um, attend I think at the moment it's I do get a, a lot of um, people from different countries there are some mm-hmm. Maltese people too with it they're generally from around this area or Slema um, I do have some people coming from Aliha coming to classes so it's, okay. it's great like cool. um, how many lessons does one require to become a good pole dancer to become think? a good or it it's, depends it's on the individual it's a very vague term to become a good pole I don't know because <laughs> What I think would be a good pole dancer might be different for someone else. It's okay. really, it's not about well, okay. being good. Okay, what do you mean by being a good pole dancer? What, what do you require? What do you look at in a student? That they, they have to want, 
they have to be sort of in the zone. It's more about expressing themselves. It's not just about dancing. It's not just about exercise. It's really a form of self-expression. Okay. It's um, so if they want to do that, it, it's not about being good or bad or trained okay. or not trained. Anyone can do it, and it's for them. It's a very sort of. Uh, it's almost like meditation, okay. in a way, a little bit different. And how is but the class? Is, does it start like a usual class when you go to a, an aerobics class, for example? You have the warm-up. Yeah, we we'll start with, the, a, with the, a warm-up, mm -hmm. and then we go on to the pole and do, I mean, I have different classes, either for beginners or pole tricks, and we end with a stretching routine. Okay. Uh, can it be dangerous? Because I've seen some uh, yes. footage of... Uh, yeah, there are pole, pole fails all over yeah. YouTube. <laughs> and I have a few of my own recorded. But okay. yes, um, you do have to be careful, especially if the pole is slippery. You shouldn't wear any, any lotions, no moisturizers, because they make the pole slippery. Um, okay. That's why we have grip aids to help okay. in this humidity. So you have... Uh, you wear... Like liquid chalk. Okay. And that helps. You also have to be fully warmed up. You don't want to just jump onto the pole without a warm up because okay. you can easily like uh, tear a muscle or. And can you wear anything you want? Um, in the beginning, yeah, you should wear something comfortable. Later on, when you start climbs and inverts, you will need some skin. That's okay. actually why pole dancers wear little skin. It's not just to be sexy. Okay. It's they need the skin contact on the pole to on grip. The pole for the grip. Exactly. Okay. Is there an exercise that you think is the most um, difficult? Uh, when it comes to pole dancing. Yes, and I can't do it. It's, it's, um, I've seen, in fact, we had a professional pole dancer come here recently and do okay. a workshop, mm -hmm. and she competes. Her name's Felicity Logan, and she was just showing us some tricks. She does contortion as well, because oh, they're very okay. closely related. Pole dancing with contortion, gymnastics. Okay. They all tie in together. Mm -hmm. And she was showing us some tricks, and I just, I, I didn't understand. My brain didn't know what I was looking at. There were just limbs everywhere tied. She looked like I've a... I've seen some footage of her. She's really fantastic. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, she's even better in person. Yeah, like, yeah. Jaw. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Okay, Marissa, I think it's about time that you start doing some, you show us some moves. Yes, Yourself, absolutely. and maybe I follow you. I know today I'm not dressed up That's properly, right. but That's being okay. the first lesson, I think you excuse me, right? Yes, you yes, can, we can, we can like figure this. something out. Okay.
it's desolate So how was my first pole dancing class? I was impressed. Really? <laughs> yeah, 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 you went upside down on your first try. So it was really good. I knew you'd do it, though. Okay, so. so if I have to start coming to classes, I start from the beginners, or? You can maybe go <laughs> up a little bit. If, you, if, if you're going to take this seriously. You're being very nice. You're being very nice. Marissa, thank you so much for uh, hosting us uh, today. Wish you all the luck. Grazie a tutti per aver seguito il il programma Cello Lumna Rad Differenti. Un amlo appuntamento ma con DM for Net Television Program Wa Chill. Ciao. Chill, you should hear in Grazia Lil. Hair design, Zara, or Ayur Veda.